right, here we go, Detroit. This is the wood dog. I'm on my usual Detroit bike blight patrol. I'm at address 19444 Danbury. Just south of uh, Exeter. Danbury at Exeter. This is another house that's wide open to the public. This, I've never done a house on the east side before, so here we go. You gotta watch your step or you break your neck. Here you go. This house has been burnt out for a while. It doesn't even smell like it's been burnt. Okay, here's the other side of the porch. Bags of garbage and trash. If you look on the inside, same thing. House is burnt up, ceiling's gone. Wow. East side look just like the west side when it comes to abandons. I tell you one thing, folks. A ghetto is a ghetto. And they all have the same element. And that is they all stink. Here we go. Going to the back. Back windows wide open. This place is definitely a mess. They've been in here ripping the pipes out, busting holes in the wall. This house is definitely not salvageable. Not by any stretch of the imagination. There go some pipes right there. I guess they didn't want them. Couldn't get them all the way out. All right. Here we go. I'm looking out one of the windows at a field. If you can look down there, you'll see a sign. It says Danbury, Exeter, and West Lance. See if I can blow it up for you. There you go. Danbury at Exeter and Lance. You know, these houses are in some horrible shape. Some of them are salvageable. What surprises me is that some of them are still navigatable. You can go up the stairs just like I am right now. Okay. There's an old rusty toilet there. I dare you to sit on that one. Okay. This place has been burnt up. Going into the front room like somebody said on fire just for the hell of it. Here you go. If you want to do a Superman, there you go. You all day long. You can see right out into the street. I'm a burn up roof. How about that? Yeah, but I tell you one thing. Detroit is bleeding. Detroit is bleeding, Detroit. We're bleeding. I tell you one place where Detroit is not bleeding at, and that's downtown. They tearing up steep streets, replacing pipes in the ground, replacing infrastructure downtown. Got the fastest internet in the world. Downtown Detroit, rocket. Internet's so fast, as soon as you push a button, there's your information. Don't even have to wait. You have to excuse me, I'm breathing a little hard. It's about 85 degrees today. And I'm out here on my Detroit Cadillac. There you go. Four flats this year, but I'm still doing my Detroit, my Detroit slow roll in the neighborhood. Everybody else is downtown where it's smooth with fancy LED lights, flags, all that good stuff. All I got is a basic raw bike with a water bottle on it. I don't ride my bike through this grass, folks, because I might run over a nail. Here's the house right next door. Once again, this is 1944 Danbury. And here's the house next door. Some of these houses, people tear the addresses off of them. The people in the neighborhood, because they don't want you to know where the house is. I wonder if Detroit Land Bank and the Wayne County Land Authority know about this one. This one was burned up too. Can't even walk up the stairs because they're missing. See this yard? All right, look, look at that yard. Right next to 19444 Danbury. I'm not going in there. See that roof right there? There's no supports. That thing could come down any second and mess somebody up. Child, 
Might even be the city out here trying to tag it. Let me see. Looks like somebody tagged something. Here we go. Insurance escrow notification. Got the wrong address on this one. It says 19444 Danbury. This sticker right here belongs on that house right there. So them people don't know what they're doing. They probably stuck it up there and got the hell out of here. That's what they did. Okay, we're going to go next door again. All right, here we go. Trash right out in the front yard. Look like everything that came out of this house in that house is in the yard. Okay. Danbury Street, north of West Lance, Detroit. When are we going to get high speed rocket internet in the neighborhood? When are we going to get new pi sewer pipes? And all that good stuff like they got downtown when they're going to come through and pave all our streets they paving them as they see fit some of them they don't want to pave but that's all good i tell you one thing all those fancy developers they don't come down here people on detroit city council they don't come down here but the wood dog is right here in the neighborhood on that bike letting everybody know what's happening so if you are a person who lives in the city of detroit or you care make sure that you pump my videos on youtube to every news media outlet that you can find anybody with a media outlet let them know what's going on in the city of detroit more than what they show you on the news i'm out in the street now right across from 19444 danbury here you go. Here's another one. Right across the street. I'm going to show you this one. All right. I try to keep these videos short, but man, there's A bands everywhere. See that front door's missing? You could just walk right in. You ain't got to worry about no home invasion charges here, folks. No doors. Nothing. There's nothing. Look trash everywhere you can walk right into this house right off the street see that no front windows trash everywhere you can see all the way back to the kitchen living room walls busted out they have definitely been in here and got everything they wanted up out of here that's the stairs going upstairs not going up there this time but if I continue, let me watch where I'm going. If I can continue to find houses like this, Detroit City Council need to come out here and look around instead of being out there in City Hall in that air conditioning building down there at the Detroit Coleman Young Center. Come out here in the neighborhood where I'm at. I work downtown, but I'm in the neighborhood trying to enjoy my myself and my bike ride, Detroit. But evidently, they think this problem gonna go away all by itself. If you can remember when Donald Trump first wanted a casino in the city of Detroit, he told the city of Detroit, I will tear down every abandoned house in the city if you give me a casino. Maybe they should have took him up on his offer. Cause right across from the house that I just walked out of, there's another one right over there. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, missed that one, five, six houses, ladies and gentlemen, all right across the street from each other. Now look at my bike over there. You can barely see my bike in front of that house because of all the tall grass. But this is what I do in my free time. Everybody else got them fancy outfits they put on putting on perfume to go work out now what kind of workout is that i'm working out in the neighborhood reporting blight this is how i dress detroit i'm mix match all over the place but i tell you one thing the cars see me but i'm serious about this the neighborhood is bleeding but downtown 
they got a band-aid on everything down there because they got billionaires paying for everything hey dan gilbert come down here and rehab 1944 danbury mr and mrs illich billing that 100 billion dollar or whatever facility you got down there for the red wings come out here in the neighborhood you can do something simple how about cutting the grass cut that grass for us mr illich yeah and that big field over there all right i think you've seen enough detroit i think you got my point anybody who's a facebook friend of mine Go on my Facebook page, look at my timeline and see all them pictures I've been posting all these houses when I'm out riding around. I think you'll like it or you may not like it. This is the Wood Dog on the Detroit Bike Blight Patrol. I'm out.